when, when I was in the military, all the high tech different things they had a, 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 a praise the Lord, and and, and and I'm not going to get get into that today. But the army and, and the armies and the navy and the marines today and the air force and all them they have all the high tech weapons that they ought to have to find and praise the Lord today. I thought of that little day. Amen. Praise the Lord. I thought of that little day. Here it was. Just a laugh. Just a laugh. Praise the Lord. And here he was. He had a staff in his hand. Amen. And he told me he was willing to go. And I thought they were, they was afraid and fear and feared that army. Praise God. Today there was fear of God. And David today, praise God. He 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 volunteered. Now I'm going out. I, I'm just paraphrasing as usual. But here he is with that staff. And he had five little stones. And had a little pouch today. And I tell you what, he sat down and hit the the, there he was a giant out in front of him today. And you know what? You know what he said? He said, I'm going in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. The Lord. Amen. He went out to battle to fight and today. And praise Amen. God, he went out in the name Good. of the Lord. And he slew Goliath. Yes. One little stone. Yes. Today, praise God. And pray one little stone today and slew that giant. Yes. Praise God today. Glory to God. I thought about that today and I was thinking about uh, us. And I want you to listen to what Paul uh, writes here in 2 Corinthians in the 10th chapter. Praise the Lord. And, he, and listen to what he said. He said, Now I, Paul, in verse 1, he said, Now I, Paul, myself, beseech you by the meekness and the gentleness of Christ who in in present and based among you, but being absent and bold towards you. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as as they think of us as we walked according to the flesh. Listen what he said. And he said, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war against the flesh. Praise God today. Glory to God. And I want to say this today. Every one of us, whether we realize it or not, we are at war. And I'm not talking about the third world war, but it may be coming shortly. But amen today. You know, every day of my life as a Christian, uh, I'm at war with the enemy, with the old devil. I praise the Lord today in this flesh, and this is a bit my flesh today, praise the, my flesh today wants to do things that's contrary to the Word of God. That's true. And I need something other today in me today, and I thought what the Word of God said, greater is He that's in you than He that's in the world. Amen. Praise God. Thank I mean, today, uh, there's something that we can have something greater in us, but listen, listen at Paul right here. He said, for the weapon of our warfare are not carnal. No. And I know that David, all he had was a stay and five little stones today, and he went out, but he went out in the name of the Lord. Amen. And praise God, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. Amen. Today, if we're going to have to take our, our warfare today with our flesh, uh, praise the Lord today, and we're going to have to take our warfare and give that problem to the Lord God. Amen. Give it to the Lord. Put it in the name of the Lord today. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, praise God. And I tell you what, as a church world, we really need, we're wrestling against flesh and blood. Yeah. Amen. I'll get over to that scripture after a while. Praise the Lord today. Uh, uh, glory to God. But I found out today my biggest problem is me. Amen. Amen. And I tell you what, that's the reason I need the Spirit of God in my life. But listen, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity, listen, every thought to the obedience 
of Christ. Yes. Praise God today. In other words, we need to have our, our, we need to have our mindset, right? We need to change our mind. We need to think of different. You know, if I dwell on these things of the flesh just over and over and over, it gets weary. I get weary, weary, weary. Uh, praise God. But I thought how easier, much easier it is for me if I'll take my problems, my trouble today, and the things of my flesh, take them to the Lord. That's right. Amen. Amen. And I'm telling you what today. Uh, praise the praise the Lord. Like I said, I thought about all this high tech to everything that they've got now. Praise the Lord today. But that would be nothing against God. That's right, amen. You know what? All the atomic bombs and all these powerful devices that they have and things would be nothing against God. God could stay the hand of them just exactly like that in any way. But I want us to think today now the weapons and you just drill that in your mind now and say, the weapons of my warfare are not harm. This is a spiritual battle. Amen. Amen. This is a spiritual battle that we in. And I I and I take uh, I, I praise God. I'm gonna I'm go over here to uh, Ephesians, I think it is, and read, read some here in, in the word of God. And and I I, I, pray, I praise God. <coughs> For His goodness and His mercy today, praise the Lord. And I, I thank God. I thank God from the depth and the bottom of my heart for the Word of God. Yes, I mean. Listen, and Ephesians chapter 6, and I'm going to start about verse 5. He says, Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters, according to the flesh. For fear and trembling and singleness of your heart as unto Christ, with, with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart as unto Christ. Listen, not with eye service yeah. as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ. Listen, doing the will of God from the heart. Well, yes, prayer. Amen. Doing the will of God from right down here in the heart today, praise God. With good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men. Amen. Amen. And then we need to put the Lord first in everything in our life. Everything in our life today, we need to put it up and bring it up before the Lord. And I, I say this, the Word of God says this, the Lord knows their needs even before we have But we need to take it to the Lord. Brother Martin, He needs to hear from us. He needs for me to tell the Lord His trouble. I'm going to give you a little bit of experience and maybe, maybe it'll help somebody. You know, my dad was my best friend. Amen. Amen. Me and him were good friends. That man, he taught me everything. He taught me electric. He taught me how to do masonry work. He taught me how to do plumbing. And he could build a house from the very foundation all the way up. And he taught me those skills. And me and him were just close together. You know, sometimes, I, I don't, don't, don't tell them about but my dad every time he took my little bit of two or six years to give it to me. He went down about tell me this. But we had a closeness today. And you know, I'm on a closeness with the Lord right now. Yes. And I tell you what, and he passed. And he passed. The day I went to him, dig his grave, and I was so troubled. Bless I was a word in my heart. So yes. Bless the Lord. I went home. And I laid down in the floor in my bedroom. Well, I tell you what, I was hurt my flesh. I was hurt right in my heart. Man. And I tell you what, I got down in that bedroom and I prayed. And I prayed and I felt the good Holy Ghost and the Spirit of God. And I got paid. The Spirit of God had comforted me. It helped me today, praise the Lord. And that was a, a good experience for me. And I praise the Lord. But when my problem seemed that I couldn't do it, I, I, I just had a hurt inside yeah. there. And I tell you what, and the Lord made that easy. Listen, 
But listen, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be God or free. But that whatever we do good, the Lord, the Lord knows that, don't he? Remember. But praise God. And, and ye masters do the same things unto them for burning threatening, knowing that your master also in heaven, neither is there respect of persons with him. Now listen to verse 10. This is what I wanted to get down to. He said, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. That's good for the church. Finally, yeah. brethren, be strong in the Lord. Praise God today. You know, we might think, you know, bodily exercise today it costs us little, don't even have to a little bit today. But I tell you what, today we need it, we need a closeness to God that we can yes. have a yeah. conversation yeah. today through yeah. prayer. Yeah. And we'll find that on, on, on in, in the Word of God here today. But, it, but he said, put on. Now this is something we have to do ourselves. He said, put on the whole armor of God. Yes. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. What about that? Something that we can put on today that we can withstand the wiles of the devil. You know, pray, praise God today. And listen, this is verse 12. It said, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, you know, we're not in it in no warfare right now with no country or, or nobody. Maybe uh, a praise, praise God, just words. And but He said, "For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. That's nations. Against as a principalities and against powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world." And against spiritual wickedness in high place. There's an evil spirit of darkness out there in the world. And I tell you what, that's what that is worth the beginning of our warfare. Is that? And and I tell you what, a, 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 a praise the Lord, you can't shoot it down. You can't take it out. Amen. Amen. A, a praise the Lord. I thought about one, one of my friends that I work with, and I know real good. He's preparing for war. I'm preparing to go to heaven. Yes. Amen. Yes. I'm preparing today to go to heaven. But I think he's got a hundred and some thousand they are now. Stored up. Amen. But I tell you what, I'm going to get home. I'm going to get down today, praise God, today. I'm going to be strong in the Lord in the power of His yes. Yes. Praise God. But if we're there, our wrestle, our warfare today that we're in, and whether we can, uh, I, I believe the whole nation, I believe the whole world is in warfare right now. And I, I, I keep hearing, uh, oh, the COVID is back again. There's another disease coming back again. Yeah. How, how do you how do you battle against that? Amen. Yes. Amen. Listen, I, I'm just trying to help us out here uh, today, and especially myself today. How, how do we combat those things? You know, I got the COVID, and it is really it is really bothering me. I've been weak in body. You see, I get it back, brother Wynn. Glenda thinks I had it the second time because she said this time that I was sick. My memory's got worse than ever. <laughs> and I think, and I hear other people too. Did they say that, that it affects yes, your memory? It has me. Sure. Amen. And, and that's so, it, what, it, what would be, of course, I, I don't know where they have ever got any medical, uh, in, of anything medical today that will help during that at all. You have to just kind of suck it out, bro, and go through it. Of course. And, and, and some people would be honest that's took the, the shot today. They, they got other problems. Is that true? They've got other shot, other problems today. But if what if we take it to the Lord? Amen. I, I thought, I, what if we take it to Jesus? You know, Jesus said in the scriptures, uh, He said, All power in heaven and earth is given unto me. God give Jesus that power and authority. 
It, to me, I really believe it, uh, these things that, that are flesh and we can't do nothing about, we should take it to the Lord. Amen. David Amen. did. When the odds was all against him, and then that all against them, Amen. he took it, up, took it to the name of the Lord. Listen, he said, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and praise God and having done all to stand. He said stand. And the evil, is this an evil day? Yes. Praise God. I have never saw a time in my life today to give it up. There was such an evil day that we was living in. But we got something that was stronger than that. Yes. We got something that was abiding in us today and through the Lord. Uh, uh, praise God. But listen, and, and he, he he lays out here, and I, bet, I said, well, there's no carnal weapons here that he's not. Amen. And, and he's got his Paul told you, there's no weapons, there's no guns, there's no knives here to how to withstand it and to overcome and be able to stand during this time period, are they? Let's listen to it. Let's just, he says, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Now what is truth? The word of God. It's the word of God. He said during St. John 7, he said, sanctify them through thy word. Thy word is truth. So, apply the word of God. And do you know of any instance today in the word of God that you can read? I thought about Jesus there where he was in the wilderness and he fasted for 40 days and he was hungry. He was hungry. Amen. And the devil tried to tempt him. Yeah, that was, was one. He said, now, if I be the son, I'm going to make this bread break. Make this uh, a, a stone break. Make this stone break. Praise God. Jesus could have done that. He could have just as well as anything today. But the Word of God is what turned the devil. Amen. I'll make that quick too. Uh, pray, praise the Lord today. But stand therefore, having your loins gored about with the truth. And I thought, wouldn't it be good just to pick this up and read it? Yes. yes. Wouldn't it be good today when we hear it in the Word of God that we said, Lord, help me to, to understand that and believe that. Uh, help me, Lord, to get right into the Word of God yes. and believe that. He says, stand therefore, having your Lord's go to battle the truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness. What is it? I'm, I'd like to bring this down in, in, in simple uh and, and I like to talk of the simplicity that's of Christ today. Uh, pray, righteousness today is goodness. It's keeping God's word. Amen. Walking in the spirit of God. Praise the Lord today. But listen, glory to God. And and your feet, listen, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Is not the Word of God today the most valuable thing and, and to help us to withstand, to stand against the enemy and to stand against our flesh? Now that my biggest problem is it, not other people. It's not the other country, but it's me. Amen. 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 That's good. And it's me. If, if, it, if it happens to me, I, I know... You know, people, other people, they do things today that just hurt you so bad. But all I can do in these times of trouble, uh, you know, that we have, uh, uh, praise God, we need to call upon and take it unto the Lord. Right. Take it to the Lord in prayer. And He teaches this as we get on down here. Uh, uh, praise God. And above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith we shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Every dart that he, everything that he throws at us, everything that he throws at us today, we will be able to withstand it. Amen. And I found out this. I found out. Uh, 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 praise the Lord that my weakest point, what, that what gets to me more than anything else is what that gets me down and gets worse than anything today. Uh, uh, I pray, praise the Lord. The devil knows that. Yes, now, he tries that. That's what he tries. If he finds my weakest point in my flesh, that's what he. And 
And that's what today that he goes at the heart. Praise God. And that led us to try to believe in God with all of our heart. Let us believe today in the Lord Jesus and have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ in His name. Praise God. Let's believe in the Father. Let's believe in the Son. Let's let the Holy Ghost work in our lives. Uh, praise the Lord today. Glory to God. It'll help us today. Praise God. And put that shield of faith. To really, I thought about faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And that, but I, I thought about really having faith today that God, having faith means so much that I can really believe and say, Lord, I know you're going to help me. Yes. That, I, sometimes I might say, Lord, I know you can help me. But I need to learn to say, the Lord will help me. Amen. And he's going to help me. And if I can have faith and believe that, then he will. Right. Amen. Oh, Praise the Lord. And so I, I do not blame anything on nobody. I blame it on me. Today. Yeah. I'm weak. I praise God today. Then pr praise God I am. But listen. And he said, and take the helmet of salvation. And take the helmet of salvation. You know, I thought about this word today, salvation today. I thought about it. I thought about all the hundreds of people over the years and time that's come through the church here that found salvation for their soul. Yeah. I tell you what, people today that were very and maybe drunks and, and all down and out in those periods of times and had problems and different times, but they found salvation yes. Yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. They found salvation in the name of the Lord. And salvation today. Uh, praise God. Uh, it's something other if we will hold to it, he'll give us strength. He'll, he'll, if we can just hold to that salvation that the Lord has given us, that God has given us through his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, today. Uh, praise God. Take the helmet of salvation. If we we can be we can have on a armor. Praise God. We can be armed completely around from the enemy. Praise God. With no karma on it. It is all God's Word. And God's right. Spirit. And faith. And everything that the Word of God teaches us that we can have to put on. Praise God. I thank the Lord. Li listening to it. Praise God. And the sword of the Spirit. Which is the Word of God. The sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Not no, not no uh, sword today made out of metal or nothing like that today. Praise God. But the Word of God today is quick and powerful. The Bible says it is. The Word of God is quick and powerful than any two-edged sword. Amen. Praise God today. Today, I tell you what. That word of God is powerful. And I tell you what, that if you want to make the devil flee today, and Jesus used it, use the word of God. Amen. Amen. That's right. <coughs> Amen. Just use the word of God. Good. And I believe, I'm just telling you, I'm serving God. That's right. He's he bigger than you are. I'm right. serving Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ. He's bigger than you are. Yes. Praise God today. Thank God. Look down into the Look right down at, at James. Look down into the perfect law of liberty. Praise God. The Word of God will free us yep. from sin and bondage. Look right down into the perfect law of liberty and to continue therein. Keep it right on, to continue right on and right on. And praise God. Praise the Lord. And He said, "Praying." And this, I, I really want to stress this and pray. I tell you what, praying, we ought to pray continually. Amen. Yes, Praise the Lord. Pray. Prayer changes things. I, I know of prayer today, people that have prayed and, and cancer has been healed. Yes. Yeah. Amen. I, I know today in prayers and praying today that bones have been healed. 